Good morning, children. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nice to meet you again on the listening comprehension materials for today. Yeah, actually, for the first, uh, for the third semester student, you are going to learn about listening comprehension. After, on the first semester. And also on the second semester, you also learned about the listening. But the previous listening was different with uh, today's listening, with the third semester's listening. For the first semester's listening, you have learned about the IC, the intensive course listening. And then on the second semester, you also learned about the basic listening and i give you the module for the basic listening so you can practice more by using the model but now yeah on the listening comprehension Weka will give you a different material in understanding about the listening to this meeting Weka just giving you the introduction about the listening comprehension but yeah the mou the memorandum of understanding about our meeting and then our schedule and then your attendance and also the rules the other rules yeah was still the same with the previous uh, subject with the previous lesson yeah and then for the listening comprehension, what are the difference among the listening materials? On today's listening comprehension, Pueka will try to introduce what are we going to learn for one semester. Actually, we are going to learn for about 14 meetings in uh, one semester. For the two meetings, we will have such kind of tests, yeah, like the midterm test and also the final exam. So all of the meetings will be 16 meetings. Kweka will share the PowerPoint to you and then we are going to know what are we going to do, what are we going to practice and what are we going to listen about the listening comprehension. You ever know that listening and hearing, both of them are different. So for, for the first time, Weka will remind you again about the meaning and the definition of listening. Okay, take a look at my slide now. Weka will start the slide. Let me slide so the slide so you can see clearly for the whole slide. Okay, take a look now. Listening comprehension. This is the material for the third semester students of the English Education Study Program of 
Faculty of Languages and Communication Science, Sultan Agung Islamic University of Sunan. Okay, we come to meeting one. Today is the meeting one. What are we going to learn for this meeting? Okay, take a look on the next one. On the third semester, we will done the 16 meetings. The 14 meeting is about transferring materials for listening comprehension. One meeting for the meter on the eighth meeting. And on the last meeting, on the 16 meeting, you will have final exam. Okay, this is the 16 meetings that we are going to do on one semester in about one month. Yeah, in, in about three months, I do apologize for my mistake. Three months, yeah? And the next. On the 14 meetings, we will learn about K. This is the first meeting. The first meeting is, it is about the introduction for the whole material that we are going to learn. But next week, we come to the second meeting. The second meeting, we are going to list so of course the activity, the practice of our learning is about listening. So on listening here, you are going to do such kind of different thing on the practice listening. This is a receptive skill but actually you can be active on this skill by doing such kind of writing to summarize or you are going to speak you are going to reach out what is uh, what is being discussed on the on the on the audio of the listening okay on the second meeting next week, we are going to listen to the speech and also analyzing the speech objectives. So what are the objectives of the speech here? We are going to listen for one audio of the speech. Not only a short speech, but you are going to listen for longer speech right now. Okay, not only about the conversation, but this is kind of speech. And then also on the third meeting, on the third meeting, you are going to listen again. The listening here is to listening to speech, still the same, but we are going to analyze about the speech content and the structure on the speech. Okay, for the second meeting, learning about the speech of the objective, we are going to know about the objective of the speech. And then on the third, yeah, we are going to know about the content of the speech and also the structure of the speech. And then on the fourth meeting, we are going to listen again and talk still about speech. Yeah, because there are so many people having a speech here in English. Yeah, like me, myself, yeah, is giving a speech or giving a talk to you. But we are going to focus on the speech so for the individual speech yeah and on the fourth meeting here we are going to know about opening of the speech and then the body of the speech and also the conclusion of the speech okay yeah this is on the fourth meeting we will deliver the speech here and then you are going to know about which one is the opening, which statement is the opening, and which one is the body, and which one is the conclusion on the speech. Okay, next. We come to the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh meeting. What are we going to learn on the fifth? On the fifth meeting, listening to speech, still about the speech. We concentrate the seven meeting at the beginning before midterm we concentrate only listening to speech speech and talk okay 
and then the listening to speech on the fifth meeting we are going to analyze about the speech's enthusiasm and a connection to the audience and humor is there any humor on the uh, on this kind of speech okay so there are so many kinds of differences among speeches and then on the sixth meeting listening to speech and analyzing speeches focal variety of the speech okay we are going to know about the focal variety of the speeches because each person has got a different focal in trying to deliver his or her speeches okay and then we come to the seventh before the meter yeah before the meter we still talking we still dis we are still discussing we discuss about practicing listening to yeah because our learning is about listening so we are going to listen to speeches still about speeches but we analyze on the use of the language and intangibles okay this one this is about the materials before meter that we are going to learn yeah for about six meetings because on the first meeting we just know about the introduction of how listening comprehension is running or is doing okay well, then we meet uh, we meet the, the the exam yeah the exam yeah after you learn about six meetings six material about speeches and then on the egg meeting you will have a test yeah there are so many kinds of tasks that you are going to do we can deliver many different tasks in a multiple choices in AJ or in matching or in true or false yeah we have so many models yeah by using online system of course and then after the meeting what are you going to learn after the meeting? There are still seven meetings after me. Okay, sorry, this one, seven meetings after the meter. Okay, what are they? We are going to know. On the name meeting, we are going to listen to some similar words in American and British. We are going to know about the differences of the words among the words on American and also British. We are going to differentiate about how the Americans say it and how the British say it about the words in English, yeah? And the meaning is the same in Bahasa, okay? Why are they different? We are going to discuss about this. And then listening for a short film, yeah? A short film with some chunks, with some chunks or some expressions, yeah? That you are going to do. Uh, for example, you are going to make saya kehabisan uang. What can we say in English? Yeah, in the real expression of English, we are going to know about this. Yeah, related to the, the film, uh, I would like to show you without subtitles. So you are going to listen and watch it the film. And then on the 11, on the 11 meeting, you are going to listen to about the cultural content. So the listening here will discuss about such kind of film with the content of culture here. The culture will be in different country. I will try to choose the country and you are going to learn from this about the cultural content. And then on the 12th meeting, listening is about the academic content. Yeah, there are so many, so many materials on academic content. We can learn about many subjects in English, yeah, many subjects in English, especially for the academic one. Okay, this is on the 12th meeting, all about listening, all about audios, all about understanding and also trying to memorize, remembering about this kind of the audio. And then on the 30th, what are you going to do? On the 13th meeting, uh, we are going to practice and also listen to social interaction, the social expression. Okay, uh, everybody has quite a social relation yeah, among the people in 
her or his environment. So they are going to interact with some others. So we are going to know, yeah, about like uh, casual conversation or social interaction between people or among people. So we are going to know about the way they try to speak in English, okay, naturally, of course. And then on the 14th meeting, listening to lecturer's explanation, we are going to listen about the lectures is uh, while they are delivering their materials in English. Yeah, there are so many lectures, there are lectures of philosophy, there are some lectures of language, and we are going to focus on the lectures of English language and education. So we are going to know about their explanation in English and also understanding and knowing the detailed information about their explanation. Okay, on the 15th meeting, before the final, before final, you are going to listen to the kids talking. Okay, this is a kind of, uh, what is it, uh, entertainment for you before final. So we are going to listen to some skits while they are discussing something, while they are uh, chatting with each other, yeah, and then they are trying to speak between or among the kids. Okay, we are going to know uh, their conversation in English. Yeah, what are they going to talk or, and how they talk and how they chat with each other. Okay, this is a kind of entertainment, but we are going to understand. Yeah, about their, uh, their saying or their words. Yeah, okay. And then we come to the fine. This one. This is about the whole materials that we are going to learn on one semester of the listening comprehension material. Okay, not only for introduction of the listening comprehension, but I would like to remind you again about the definition of listening. What is listening? We are going to connect it to the theory of listening. I will try to look at yes, well, this one. Listening skills. Okay. On the picture above, you can see this one. The listening skill, hear what people are really saying. So, there are two words here. Listening and hear. This is different. Both of them are different. Why are they different? We are going to look at the definition. Okay. What is listening? Listening, yeah, according to Richard Norquist on the year 2019, yeah, he published his definition on January the 6th. That listening here is the active process of receiving and responding to spoken and sometimes unspoken or it is like messages yeah the unspoken one is such kind of messages it is one of the subjects studied in the field of language arts and in the discipline of conversation analysis okay this one this is the meaning of listening listening is the active process of receiving Although on the scale this is receptive, you are not going, uh, you are not uh, to be active. But this is from the definition of the research not quiz in the 2019. This is not the passive process again, but this is the active process of receiving because you are accepting and receiving information from others from the speaker yeah and there are two kinds of uh, information can be spoken can be un unspoken okay next for the the other definition another definition for the second definition listening is not just hearing listening is not just hearing what the other party in the conversation has to say 
Listening means taking a vigorous human interest in what is being told us. So, this is the difference. Yeah, hearing is just trying to hear what the people say without any, without any feedback, without any, uh, without any thing that we are going to do after the hearing. But on the listening, you are going to memorize something. You are going to remember something. You are going to evaluate something and you are going to give response to something. This is about listening. So the listening process in for five stages. This is not the stages of hearing, but this is the stages of listening. The stages, they are receive, of course. You are receiving information and then understanding after you are receiving the information and then you are going to understand what is being discussed on the conversation what is being told what is being delivered on the information what is the what is it uh, what is the talk or what is the speech about yeah this one this is about the process and another thing is to evaluate you are going to evaluate someone else speaking someone else information someone else uh, what is it report you are going to know yeah for example you are going to listen to the speech of someone for for example the speech of barack obama so you are going to ever evaluate here what is Barack Obama delivering about or saying about? Okay, I'm going to evaluate, I'm going to analyze what is he talking about on his speech. Okay, and then the next stage is, is about remembering. After you listen, after that you receive the information and then you come to understand about the meaning of the information you are going to analyze and evaluate the information you will remember what uh, you are going to what you listen about what you are listening about after you remember, you are going to give response. You are going to retire. You are going to talk again about someone else speaking, someone else information. You are going to report again by using your own word after you are listening from the others. Okay, this is the process of the listening. Okay, so there will be different between listening and hearing. Next. There are 10 principles of effective listening that you must know. Yeah. The first is about stop talking. The second, prepare yourself to listen. And then put the speaker at ease. And then the fourth, remove destruction. And then the fifth, empathize. The sixth, be patient. And then the seventh, avoid personal personal prejudice and then the egg listen to the tone and how about the name and the pan the name principle is listen for it is not just the words okay i'm missing for one word here listen for ideas not just the words so you are going to listen about the ideas of the information, not trying to listen to each word that the speaker is saying. Okay, and then the last principle is about wait and watch for non-verbal communication. So because the communication is not only about spoken, yeah, when uh, Richard tried to deliver the definition that listening is not only about spoken but sometimes also unspoken like the messages so this is also listening 
Okay, this one. This is about weight and voice for non-verbal communication. Non-verbal communication can be the body languages. This is a kind of non-verbal communication. Okay, take a look on the next. We are going to know about the, mm, what is it? The, the, the more explanation about the 10 principle of the effective listening. Yeah, we are going to know one by one. What does it mean? by the 10 principles of the effective listening. What are you going to do for the 10 principles of effective listening? How is your listening? Uh, how is your listening effective for you? Okay, now we come to the first. Why do you must, uh, sorry, why you must stop talking? Why you try to listen without many thoughts. Mark Twain tried to say if we were supposed to talk more than we listen, we would have two tongues and one ear. So on the first principle of listening, why is called stop talking. So the instruction here while you are listening, don't talk, but just listen. Why? Because this one, Mark Twain tried to deliver a statement. If we were supposed to talk more than we listen, we would have two tongues and one ear. In Bahasa Indonesia, we can say, kalau orang itu mau banyak omong daripada dengar, itu. Lebih baik punya dua mulut aja daripada dan satu telinga. Dan itu. Kita akan punya dua, dua mulut dan satu telinga kalau orang itu banyak menginginkan untuk bicara daripada mendengar. So, a human has got only one mouth and two ears. So, it is supposed that you have to listen more than we, we talk. Okay. So, this is what Mark Twain is going to deliver. Jadi, jangan banyak omong, banyak dengar. Because we have only one mouth and two ears. So, we have to get this one. And then next. The second principle. Prepare yourself to listen. When you are going to prepare yourself to listen, you have to be relaxed. Focus on the speaker, put other things out of mind. Just focus on listening, focus on the speaker, okay? Not trying to listen to the others, but just focus on one thing and try to relax. Okay, this one. This is about preparing yourself to listen. And then next, yeah, relax. Just listening to the audio and then don't care to the others and focus on one thing. Okay, this one. This is the people is going to do, okay? The man is going to... To, to be relaxed. Now, next. The third principle, put the speaker at ease. What does it mean? When you have to put the speaker at it is mean help the speaker to feel free to speak. So don't interrupt the speaker. Don't interrupt the audio. Don't, uh, what is it? Don't rewind the audio. Just go on. Okay. Lanjutkan saja, tidak usah diputus-putus. Don't cut, it. don't interrupt him. Ya, yeah. jadi jangan jangan sampai diputus. Just go, on. just listen. Okay, something, uh, what is it? It's going on while you are listening, and then you are going to understand too at the last of the statement after the speaker has finished to talk. After has uh, after the speaker uh, has finished to deliver the the information or the let's see the messages okay next the fourth and the fifth principle the fourth principle remove destruction what does it mean by remove destruction it means focus on what is being shaped just focus on remove just stay focused stop getting destructive okay this is the picture is going to say so just focus. Yeah, this is listening. 
while you are listening to the song of English, so you are going to be focused, yeah, and then you can memorize well for the for the song of English. And then how about the fifth? Ample times. Try to understand the other person's point of view. Okay, you have to take a look on the person is saying something, and then you are going to uh, pay attention on his words, his saying, his explanation, his delivering. Try to understand the other person's point of view. So you just get the ideas. Okay, this is empathize. And then this one, empathy, see their word understand their feelings, appreciate them as human beings, and communicate your understanding. Oke, okay, jadi kalau sudah tahu idenya dia yang diomongkan, kamu giving respond. Dan itu kan, itu the, uh, listening itu seperti itu. So, after you listen, and then giving respond. Oh, yeah? well, jadi saya paham. Okay, so, I can understand what you are saying, and then I will deliver this kind of a good response after you deliver the information. Okay, this one. This is M, M for times. And then for the sixth principle, this is be patient. It means a pause, even a long pause, does not necessarily mean that the speaker has finished. Okay, although the speaker try to pause his statement, this doesn't mean that the speaker stop his explanation okay just be patient wait yeah wait until they really finish his or her saying jadi hati-hati belum tentu orang ngomong mandek itu dia sudah selesai berhenti itu sudah selesai but you need to be patient ya jadi pendengar yang baik itu just just wait Yeah, just wait, be patient until the uh, until the speaker here, until someone else is saying in front of you, really stop their their words, his his word, really stop his words. But actually, sometimes when they uh, when the people try to give a pause on this statement, yeah, that's one. It doesn't necessarily mean that the speaker has finished. Okay, yeah, so remember, the patient is a good listener. And then, avoid personal prejudice. It means try to be impartial. Okay, jangan sok baik mengabaikan orang lain, gitu ya. Jadi, you have to try to be impartial. Yeah. This one, avoid personal prejudice. Yeah. Jadi, hindari. Ya, ego-ego kalian yang memang apa itu, just try to give honor to someone else speaking. Ya, honor him, honor her, ya, in delivering the information. Okay, next, the A. Listen to the tone. It means volume and tone both add to what someone is saying. Okay, the tone sometimes is raising and then sometimes is falling. So... This is about the way how to make a good information to the listener. And also the listener will try to know about the volume. Why is the speaker is saying and raising intonation? Why is the speaker is saying in high and low intonation? Low, low and high tone, okay? So we are going to know about it. We have to know. And then the name? Listen for ideas, not just words. Okay, this is uh, the missing one. Yeah, listen for ideas, not try uh, to listen only for the words. Yeah, you have to listen in one statement, the whole statement, not only cutting on one word. You need to get the whole picture, not just isolated bits and pieces. Okay, it means yeah, in Bahasa, kalau dengarkan orang bicara, jangan dipotong-potong. Dengarkan full, lengkap, so you, you are not going to be misunderstanding for they are, he is saying about. Okay, jadi kalau mendengarkan orang ngomong itu satu, komplek, jangan dipotong, dan interrupt him. Okay, 
Jadi memaknai kayak memaknai ayat-ayat dalam Al-Quran itu. This is a kind of listening to messages, unspoken. Ya, jadi Al-Quran itu kan pemahamannya juga pemahaman listening. You are going to listen, need to be patient. Kemudian Anda harus membaca dengan baik. This is unspoken messages. Ya, pesan-pesan tetapi tidak dikatakan. But in written. So you are going to look at the ideas of the statement on Al-Quran, on Holy Quran. Not listen for the words of each. Ya, jadi tidak tidak boleh Al-Qurannya dipotong-potong satu kata satu kata. Nah, okay. This one, this is about listening for ideas, not just for the words. Okay, take a look at the whole. And then the last principle, this is for wait and watch for non-verbal communication. It means, yeah, as a listener, you have to look at the speaker's gesture, facial expression, eye movements can all be important. Okay, so when you are listening to my explanation today, so you have to look at my gesture, look at my facial expression, and my eye movements. This is important for you. Am I sad or am I happy today? <laughs> okay, this one. You can take a look. Yeah. So we don't just listen with our ears, but also with our eyes. Okay. Listening is not only with our ears. We can watch. You have to see the speaker's gesture, the speaker's expression. And then once I pick up the additional information being transmitted via non-verbal communication. So this is about the principles of listening that you are going to know. So take a look at the information when someone else delivering speech, delivering. Okay, this one, this is about how to understand the whole of a listening comprehension. Today, Tidak hanya memahami audio, but the speech here, ya, kenapa mereka mengajarkan speech? So you are going to know about this, yeah, about the expressions too, and the eye movement of the speaker. Yeah, there are so many different people, different expression, different gesture, and different eye movement. So this is very important for you, so you can see. You can see the people as a whole in delivering the information and in delivering the materials and his or her speech. Okay, this one, this is the last. We don't just listen that with our ears, but also with our eyes. Okay, today listening itu tidak hanya bekerja telinganya, tetapi matanya juga bekerja. Okay, this one. We have finished with the 10 principles of listening. Yeah, We don't have any other materials because this is just about the introduction for us Yeah, about the listening comprehension material that we are going to do for one semester. Okay, thank you for your attention. And we can see you again on the next meeting. With our first material, we are going to know about one category of speech and who, yeah, we will know next. Okay, thank you. Yeah, don't forget here for watching again. Yeah, for watching again for my explanation. And then we will see you on the next material on the material of listening to a speech. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you for watching too. And don't forget, follow me on my social media for Facebook, Instagram, and also for YouTube. And then you can also try to put your tongue, like put your like, command and subscribe. Thank you so much and see you again next week on our first material of the speech. Bilai Tafiq wal Hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Thank you so much. Very nice meeting. And we will see you again on the speech meeting of listening comprehension on the second and the sixth meeting before the meeting. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.